My name is Sasha Ribel, and I'm Program Manager and Liaison Officer to the African Union and the Economic Commission for Africa for UNESCO. I'm also the Program Director and Project Coordinator of Women in African History, an e-learning tool. I'm standing in the National Museum of Addis Abeba, Ethiopia, next to a reproduction of Lucy, the first woman in the history of humankind, and the first human in the history of humankind. This is representative of the fact that women, since generations and since the beginning of time, have contributed to development around the world, and African development particularly. Women in African History, an e-learning tool, is an interoperable open educational resource that highlights the role of women in African development by showcasing uh, the role of women in the contribution to African sustainable development and the diaspora through digital comic strips, through pedagogical resources, and through downloadable MP3s. This resource also promotes the general education and ICT use of young women in Africa and the African diaspora by making available locally relevant content in the framework of UNESCO's project, The Pedagogical Use of the General History of Africa. Lastly, the project promotes production in the ICT sector by young women by highlighting the contribution of young women to this tool through their involvement in digital comic strip production, in MP3 production, and in programming. UNESCO has two overarching priorities, Global Priority Africa and Gender Equality. This program, Women in African History, an e-learning tool, is intended for use not only in the formal education sector, but also in non-formal and informal education. Growing up in West Africa, I remember young people downloading the speeches of important African presidents. Our hope is that through this open educational resources, young women and girls in Africa and the African diaspora will be downloading the stories of Wangari Matai, of Funmilayo Ranso Mekuti, and of the Amazons of Daome to not only encourage their pride and their empowerment, but also their knowledge of their influential role in Africa's development in the past, in the present, and in the future. In these two global priorities, our hope is that by them coming together through this project, that Africa for UNESCO will not only be a priority, but will also be an example.